So here we are, another installment of the MonsterVerse, Godzilla Kong, the New Empire. And um, where Godzilla vs. Kong was definitely a, uh, definitely a movie to like showcase the strength of Godzilla and just cement the fact that he is the king. Uh, this movie, Godzilla Kong, the New Empire, it definitely focuses more on Kong because we're made to believe in Kong Skull Island in uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, that Kong is the last of his species of great apes. And uh, from the trailers, we find out very quickly that he very much is not. And there's something called the Scar King, who wants to get to the surface world and, like, destroy it. But Godzilla it stopped him the first time, centuries and centuries ago, a long time. They've been trapped in, like, this underground prison in the uh, Hollow Earth. And, of course, hell breaks loose, and, yeah, you see a quick, quick glimpse of the trailer of him, like, taking down a building with his giant, like, spine whip. So, he makes it to the surface. But the focus is definitely more on Kong, as it centers on, like, his loneliness and his continued search for more like him. And when he finally finds it, finds them, it's, they, like, immediately turn on him because they've been brainwashed and beaten and everything by the scar king for centuries godzilla spends most of the movie just powering up the signal were teased uh within the trailer and the stupid stupid line it's something you're both afraid of that's not even in the movie so i feel like toho like gave them a call and be like you need to take that out because godzilla literally fears nothing he's godzilla he's the king it doesn't matter what you put up against he's the king he's not afraid of anything but he knows what he's up against because he's Godzilla. He knows he's a fucking genius. If a giant lizard can be a genius, I don't know. But he spends the most of the movie powering up. And to do that, he, we do see some monster fights, which is great. Uh, but he defeats them to like make his way to certain like points of power in our world, whether it be like a nuclear power plant or the domain of another monster. And he uses it to power up because he knows he's against going to be against something. He's going to need it. So it's that's what he does. And he also sleeps in the middle of the Coliseum, which is it's 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 kind of badass. It's kind of funny. It's kind of adorable at the same time. <laughs> but it's also kind of random. The human story again. We could have done without it. You know, this is a movie about monsters. That's what I want to see. I want to see monsters fighting. But there is one appearance by a titan, which was actually pretty exciting, I thought. I will not spoil of who it was. Um, you know, without the human factor, it wouldn't have been able to happen. So, in that case, the human factor was important. But the rest of it, it's like, I don't care. I just want to see Godzilla beat the shit out of other monsters. I want to see Kong beat the shit out of other monkeys and other potential creatures in the Hollow, hollow Earth. That's what I want. I want monster fights. I don't care about like a potential love story between two characters. I don't care about this person trying to find themselves. I don't care about this person and their conspiracy theories. I just want monsters. Godzilla Kong, the new empire. In terms of the monsters, it's fantastic. The CGI is amazing. Uh, the monster fights, the battles, they're cool as hell. They're suspenseful. And I want more of the MonsterVerse, but just for the monsters. The human factor, for me, just kills it. Like, I don't care. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. Like, they're part of the story. <sighs> With the exception of the one that helps the appearance of another Titan, which I thought was cool. That's the only part of anything the humans did that was any good. So in terms of the monsters and the fights and just just the emo like just the emotion from Kong cuz there was a lot of emotion from Kong and they they portrayed it very very well in terms of all of that like I give this movie an A without a shadow of a doubt but because of the boring ass typical human factor you know Godzilla minus 1 did it right they did it fucking right take note hollywood i have to downgrade it to a I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a B. 
Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.